Welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do a bag review today. It's been a while since I did a bag review, I think, and I just wanted to film this. I might actually upload this after I leave for my trip. I'm going to Europe for about a week and a half, so I'm trying to film some videos beforehand so that I can have some coming out even when I'm gone. Clearly, um, I might be fil filming some I don't know, vlogs I think when I'm there, but I will definitely not be able to upload it while I'm there. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I do want to do a how to pack for two weeks in Europe uh, with just a carry-on. So I'm gonna try to do that, show you all the outfits, the, what, how, how I do it, but I'll see how, how that works out. It's actually very difficult and I've been trying to do it. It's taking a long time. So hopefully I can get that and get it set up. All right, so anyway, today's video is about this bag here. Many of you might see this and know what it is. This is actually the Madewell transport tote, but it is the mini transport tote that has this drawstring. Actually, let me look up the name, the exact name. Okay, it's called the mini pocket transport leather drawstring tote. That's quite a mouthful. Okay, <laughs> so Madewell had some very, very popular bags that look like this, and it's always called the transport tote. They, on the top, would have a zipper closure instead of these drawstring, and the rest of the bag's about the same. You've got two top handles here, and then a crossbody strap. There isn't anything around here or any feet. I think if you went up a size, since this is the mini, if you went up a size, I I think the original tote did have a pocket on the outside, but yeah, I got this in the English saddle, as you can see, and on that Nordstrom web, Nordstrom's website, it actually looks a lot darker and more, I don't even know if you call it, call it patinaed, but it, it, did, it did look different than this one. It is a dark brown color and it looks really gorgeous. There are some scuff marks because this is vegetable tanned leather. It's not been very treated. On the inside, it's not lined or anything. I'll show you once I take this, the items out. But I love that it has a removable crossbody strap and it's also adjustable. The adjustable part of it is right here. It's currently right in the center. I don't know if you can see there are two, three above and about two below. So you could make it longer or shorter. I have it set on this. This is what it came in and I'm about 5'1". I will try to insert some photos here. Um, you can also go onto my Instagram to see my outfits and how I style this bag as well as other bags that I have reviewed. And yeah, so I really like this. I've been using this for oh, at least a dozen times now and I just it was just a, my go-to bag for a while. A lot of the times when I have certain bags, you can see there there's some up there. I would change it up for the weekend, but then I would immediately change out of it just because either one, they're too dressy, like that Bulgari one right there, but there's there are also ones where it's just too small or too big or too much or too easy to get scratched so that I didn't want to bother with it. So there are things that I just switch out and there are some that are colored based so then, you know, I, I just can't wear with a lot of my outfits. But this one is the right size, it's durable, I don't have to worry about it. It is in a brown color so it really goes with almost anything in my wardrobe and it could be for many occasions. This could be your, you know, just grab and go, it could be your coffee run, lunch date, it could be a lot of things like a park, concert, everything. Um, let me just show you the inside, what I have right now, and then I can also show you the features of it. Actually, let me show you the singed part. So you just cinch it up like this, and then you pull these in, like so, and then it looks like a little drawstring bag. I think these soften over time, but since I never cinch it, the leather here never got soft. So it kind of looked weird. <laughs> I don't know if I would ever, I don't know if I would ever wear it when it's like this. I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, I never wear it like that. Like I said, just because where I've been, I feel like it's secure enough. And for the most part, it's really hard to, you know, if I'm, if I'm wearing this crossbody, it's really hard for someone to stick their hand in here and steal something. All right, so inside this bag, I have my cosmetic pouch. This one is just a clear plastic pouch that has a zipper on the top. And right now I have, 
a oh travel size a tinted lip balm by fresh it's one of my favorites because it's twist off or twist yeah the cap is twist off so it's very secure i have a small eco tools brush and then i have a long comb dual finish powder so it just looks like that and so that just all kind of goes into my bag if I want any touch-ups. Generally, I, I don't. So I don't know why I would have this in here, but sometimes I just need it and this is what it's good for. I also have a sunglass pouch. This is a soft case. This is my Celine one. I am able to put my sunglass case. That is a hard case in there, but I didn't feel the need for those. So these are my Celine's. They're fairly flat. So if you have a really bulky one, it may or may not fit. This one, I had it lying flat down like this. So it was lying like this in here perfectly. And then I have my wallet. This is the Louis Vuitton clay in the, in the leather, emprunt leather. <laughs> it just looks like that nothing in it right now but there's also a zip so this is fairly bulky when filled up but it could still fit in here no problem and the last thing I have in here is a, another lip balm this is a tinted lip balm and I actually got this from CVS by the by the brand Joa I think I, I don't even know I just picked it up because the packaging looked really cute yeah sucker for packaging so it's actually what I'm wearing right now they come in many different colors. So it, it's very moisturizing. It doesn't actually feel like lipstick. So I guess it's right when it says tinted lip balm. All right, so that's all I have, but sometimes I have keys in here, car keys in here, and then um, occasionally I have snacks and receipts. It's pretty clean right now, but this is what it looks like on the inside. I don't know if you can see, it is not lined. So the leather is just on the, the other side of the leather. So it's a, the one piece. There is a zip pocket back here. I'm gonna try to show you. Okay. Let me see. So you can zip it open. Actually, you know what? I can, I can actually pull this out. So this is the little pouch that you can pull out of the bag so that I can show you. So there it is, and then it just says made well right there. It's really hard to see, but yeah, so it goes in. Again, it's leather and then leather lined. So this is the pocket. If you want a size comparison, my key clay can fit in there. I also didn't show you my phone because I was using it to look up the name of this. So if you wanted to see, that one just fits right in. I have, the, I have the Pixel 2, so you can fit it either way. So just a little bit of information about this bag. You can buy this Madewell brand bag at Madewell. You can also get it at Nordstrom. I got mine at Nordstrom and I got it price matched when uh, Madewell had a sale. And it's just because I, I shop at Nordstrom a lot more and the return policy is a lot easier. This one retails for $128, but I got it probably for either 25, 30% off. I don't remember. It was, it was significantly reduced and I thought that would be a good time to try it. I never jumped onto the bandwagon when they came out with a lot of their transport totes. They still have a lot coming out, but I like the look of this and how laid back, I guess it looks. And it is very durable. It's very lightweight. If there's nothing in it, it feels like barely anything. And like I said, it kind of goes with everything. I also really like that it's fairly shallow. As you can see, there's probably only an inch and a half of depth here. And what's really good about it is when you wear it cross body, it doesn't like bounce out. One of the things that I don't really like about my Dior Diorama, which is right there, is that it, it is quite thick. And so when you wear it on cross body, it kind of juts out and of your hips and it hits everything. This one, it stays close to your body as it needs to be and it looks very chic. So, like I said, I've been using it and there are some scuff marks, but they're not scratched, they're surface and I feel like if I try to buff it out, it, it might come out. But honestly, I'm not that worried about it because this this is kind of got that 
design to make it kind of look sort of roughened <laughs> not beat up but yeah like a little bit roughened roughened up so anyway i really like this i had thought about actually removing these at some point in time perhaps and then putting a scarf through this and then tying it up front i think that would look really cute and feminine it kind of gives it a ladylike vibe i haven't done it clearly because i'm a little bit lazy a little behind on things so yeah but i just wanted to pop in to share, share with you in case there are sales coming up for i don't know what holidays is coming up but if there are any these ones do go on sale on madewell's website every so often so i just want to put that out there again this one is the small size in the mini they also have a, i think a small which is one up from there and then like a large i think from from there so it does vary in size i'll try to link or well, I'll try to link this bag below. They also come in black and blue and I think some other colors. But I'll leave the information on the dimensions below as well if you're interested. Like I said, you could buy it from Nordstrom, but you can also buy it from Madewell. So, yeah, I, I hope... I hope this was helpful. If you have any question, please leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. If you wanted to see how this is styled, go ahead to my Instagram, which I'll leave right here and check it out. I'll try to insert photos if I could find them to do it right away. Otherwise, they'll, they'll, they'll be on my Instagram. All right, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.